what is up guys it is your boy runnerman 15 and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to play need for speed the run in 2024 and also i'm going to be sharing with you guys a reshade preset i have for the game this will kind of be like a little remaster not really because we're just playing the game with a reshade preset on it's going to make the game look a little bit better, but that's about it. Nothing like textures is being changed or anything. To my knowledge, there is a texture mod for the game. Need for Speed to Run Definitive Edition by Badass Baboon. Basically what this does is it improves various game textures to make it look more appealing on modern day computers. However, me along with a few other people are having issues with this mod. It's not working so i wouldn't recommend using this mod you can use it if you want to it's very easy to install but like i said for me it didn't run so i'm not going to be going over this mod in depth in this video so in order to play need for speed the run you're going to need a copy of need for speed the run now if you don't have an ea or steam copy or a, a disc version of the game that you can just download it off of there's not really anywhere else to turn i mean you can browse the internet you know whatever pretty much the only way you can play this game without an official version of the game is to scour the internet for a cracked version or a pre-installed version of the game so the version of the game that i went with and before i go any deeper i just want to say before downloading any files off the internet make sure you do your research make sure you scan the file with antiviruses and even then i would not trust anything downloaded a, downloaded what downloaded off of the internet okay i do not want people getting viruses i don't 100 percent trust this but so far i haven't noticed any issues with the uh, i haven't noticed any viruses appearing i've scanned the game folder i've scanned the install folder with a bit defender uh and windows defender and i've scanned the reshade preset with virus total and Oh, bit defender windows defender nothing came up there was no viruses detected so i'm gonna assume it's safe if you get a virus it's not my fault please proceed with caution okay also i do not condone piracy this game has been off of game uh, off of uh online stores for a very long time it is impossible to buy this game nowadays basically i found this archive.org page with an el amigos repack for the game this repack will give you it'll obviously come with the limited edition dlc basically to install the repack what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here to the torrent you're going to want to download this torrent if you don't have a torrent search up qubit torrent go to their official website download and install qubit torrent does what I use for torrenting stuff. And don't worry, torrenting is 100% legal. It's not illegal. It just makes it easier to download files and the files download faster. So you're going to want to click and install the torrent file after you've already installed your torrenter, I guess. So this is what it'll look like if you open it in Qubit Torrent. You're just going to want to save it to wherever you want to save this. Um, this isn't the full game. This is just the installer. So just save it to like your desktop. And then after you're done, you can just delete this file and then press OK. It'll start downloading the file. And after like 10 or so minutes, you should get it. OK, so after your file has downloaded, all you're going to need to do is go into your folder, go into here, and you're going to want to run the setup.exe. This hasn't fully downloaded yet, so there'll be more files in here. Uh, but it hasn't finished torrenting yet. I've already downloaded, I've already installed the game, so I don't need to install it myself. So I've simply just downloaded the setup exe just to show you guys what to do. So you're gonna want to run it and you're going to want to continue in whatever English, whatever English, whatever language you speak. And it'll open this screen, just continue next. You're going to want to make an install folder for the game next. Here you can select what you want to be installed. You can either have the original gameplay or you can have the crack which unlocks all the cars and rewards then you can click next you can choose to create a start menu folder if you want to and you can choose to create a desktop icon if you want to as well after that it'll install the game and once it's done it'll tell you to go into the game and turn off vsync if you want 60 fps and if the game doesn't work for you if you get an error an error that i got was that it would say cannot run this game under a virtual machine i will show you how to fix that right now you're going to want to go to your control panel you're going to want to go to programs 
turn windows features on and off. You're going to want to look for Hyper-V or Virtual Machine Platform. Make sure that is turned off. Make sure if you have a Hyper-V folder in here, make sure that is turned off. You're also going to want to go into your BIOS or you're going to want to turn off virtualization. I'll have a video right after this that shows how to do it in my BIOS. I have an Acerock uh, motherboard, so it'll show you how to do it in the uh, Acer Rock BIOS settings. All right, so just know that not every single person's BIOS settings are going to be the same. I have an Asrock motherboard, and in order to find it, you have to go into the advanced mode. It'll boot up in easy mode. Normally, this is what it'll look like. You'll need to press F6 or just click in the top right corner, go to advanced CPU configuration, and then you're gonna wanna go all the way down until you see Intel virtualization technology. We want this turned off. Then you can click exit, save changes, and exit, exit, press yes, and the computer will reboot. And it should work for you. If it doesn't work for you, I haven't really experienced any other issues with this game. I'm running uh, Windows 11. Comment your issue down in the YouTube comments. If you're having any issues, I'll try and help as best as I can. Uh, hopefully someone else can help you as well. So after you've downloaded the game, we're going to need to download the reshade preset for the game. So go ahead and head over to this link. It'll be the second link in the description. You're going to want to click manual download and then just click slow download. It's not a very big file, so it won't take very long to download. After that, you're going to want to open the RAR with a unzipping utility. I use 7-zip, so if you don't have 7-zip or if you can't extract this RAR file just using Windows, um, go ahead and download 7-zip, install it. Basically, you're not going to need any of this because we're going to be installing Reshade ourselves. I wouldn't put any of these in your game folder except for this. You're going to need this preset file. So go ahead and extract this preset file. Put this re uh, preset file somewhere where it'll be safe because you're going to need this every time you play the game. I just have it in my little reshade folder. Next, you're gonna wanna go over to the third link in the description and this will be the official reshade website. Official reshade website is reshade.me. You're going to want to go to this page, click download, download reshade 6.1.0 with full add-on support. This preset works with reshade 6, uh, reshade version 6, as far as I know. So after you've downloaded it, it should just download as this little add-on exe. These are other different versions of reshade. So you're going to want to run the exe. It'll tell you that this is for single player games only. That's fine. You're going to press OK, and if you can't find it in this list, if you can't find your game executable in this list, press Browse, and you're going to want to go to your game install folder. You're going to want to open the game install folder, and you're going to want to select the Need for Speed to Run EXE. Press Open. You're going to press Next. Now, the game uses DirectX 11, so click the second tab. Click Next. You will not get this screen. I've already set up the reshade for this game, but I'm just going to go through it again. So when you get to this screen, you're going to want to find your preset file. You're going to want to select this photorealistic need for speed, the run.ini. Press open, press next. It'll download all of the effects that the preset uses. Um, you can go ahead and skip this, click next, and it should be done. You can just click finish and you should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead and run the game and you should be good. As you see in the top left corner, reshade the menu popped up. Press the home key on your keyboard and make sure it's selected in the, as a preset. And you should be good. If it's not selected or if it's not showing up up here, just click the little folder icon and you can find your preset file and select it from there. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the game. Let's go ahead and see how it looks, how it runs. I have uh, after, uh, Afterburner overlay in the top left corner. And if you guys want my PC specs, it'll be down in the description below. Make sure you don't press the multiplayer screen because it will softlock the game. Make sure you don't go to account management and make sure you don't go to 
verify need for speed VIP status. It'll try and search for the auto log servers, but those servers aren't up anymore. And it'll just be in that screen infinitely. The only way you can get out of the screen is by closing the game. So make sure you don't go into there. Also, like I said, go into settings, display, make sure go to advanced and make sure VSync is turned off. That way you can get 60 FPS in game. Cutscenes and the main menu will be rendered at 30 FPS. Alrighty guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Remember, if you have any issues, any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I will try to respond to everyone and I will try to help anyone that I can uh, with the limited knowledge that I have. And hopefully someone else, if I can't help you, someone else can. So it doesn't hurt by commenting, right? Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys later. Peace.